Graduate Students United, or GSU, the union of grad students at the University of Chicago, is on strike. So how did this happen? About a year and a half ago, University of Chicago grad students voted to unionize, but the administration still won't collectively bargain with them because they don't recognize them as an official union. And you may ask, how does a legal union form in the first place? According to the AFL-CIO, a very powerful union with chapters all over the country, there are four steps you need to take if you want to form a union. First, you and a group of fellow employees need to collectively recognize the need for a union. Second, you need to organize union leadership. Hopefully that will reflect the diversity of jobs at your organization and the diversity of genders, races, economic statuses, and all that kind of stuff. And that leadership needs to come up with a list of grievances. GSU's grievances included not being paid on time and wage stagnation. According to the GSU Twitter feed, 13% of graduate students at the university have reported food insecurity. Step three, you need to organize a petition and at least 30% of employees in your organization have to sign it. Once you have at least 30% of employees signed up, the National Labor Relations Board, NLRB, will help you organize an official vote. If more than half of employees who show up vote yes, congratulations, you're a union. GSU followed those steps and held their vote in October of 2017. According to their final tally, 1,103 people voted yes and 479 voted no. An overwhelming majority of people who showed up, at least, were in favor of joining a union. But the university administration didn't and still doesn't recognize the legitimacy of GSU. Their claim is that grad students are students and therefore not employees. At private hearings held by the university, certain professors and administrators have argued that grad students contribute no economic value to the university because professors have to teach them how to teach before they can do teaching and grading on their own. But Almost every undergrad at the University of Chicago has had a grad student as either a teacher or teaching assistant. And you may ask, if GSU disputed the university administration's argument, why didn't they file a complaint with the NLRB, the National Labor Relations Board? Well, the Trump administration appointed some new officials to the NLRB that many people feel are not receptive to claims from graduate student unions. For several months, there were meetings and a poster campaign encouraging the university administration to, quote, work with us, not Trump. And this spring, the union decided to strike. Basically, the idea is, if grad students stop working, the university will see firsthand just how much economic value they were contributing before they started striking. Their timing is very intentional. It's the second to last week of UChicago's academic quarter. Finals are next week, and grades for graduating seniors are due on Saturday. Also, alumni weekend is this week, so a lot of former students, some of them very wealthy, will be on campus. Later this week, we'll find out if the union decides to end their strike and pick it up again next school year. If the university administration relents and decides to bargain collectively with the union, or if the strike continues and student grades are up in the air. If you're interested in learning more, I've put information in the down there about unionization in general and the GSU specifically.